Hi everyone. So a question that I get a lot these days is where do I find opportunities for computational chemistry, particularly in India? And what is the job description? What is the job profile? What I really need to know or what are the, you know, soft skills uh, that I really need to master in order to apply for these positions. Uh, so if I talk about the opportunities, the opportunities like I have spoken in previous videos as well um, are immense. You can say uh, in the field of particularly in the field of biotechnology and pharmaceutical, in a pharmaceutical drug discovery in short, but the number of positions that come up in these um, companies is is small okay so they have a computational chemistry unit but it is relatively small small in size right but one company which uh, you can say hires a computational chemist in in uh, in a good number is schrodinger um, and uh, currently the good thing is that it is expanding in india particularly in hyderabad so you will see more and more opportunities and that is what i really wanted to talk about in today's video so schrodinger uh, for those of you who do not know uh, it will be very uh, shocking if you don't know about it because it's it's really popular particularly if you are from the field of drug discovery so uh, but now it is also expanding in the field of material sciences as well so this is a chemical simulation um, company and uh, it has developed some uh, leading tools in, in, like i said in the field of computational chemistry and chemoinformatics so if you go to their website uh, that is schrodinger.com slash careers so i will give you the link to this um, website down in the uh, description box so over here you will see the career opportunity so you can um, you can select department from here and um, uh, right now i'll leave it to any over here and then there's location so location you can set to of course there are multiple locations like in germany um, and in you know us uk but right now i'll just you can see over here hyderabad india so it is currently expanding a lot and you will see a lot of opportunities coming over here even for freshers so i'll just select hyderabad india over here and uh, the search is complete so you will see there are positions of scientist and then there are positions of software engineers and there then there are positions of it right so for us uh, like this is the most relevant the scientist position so um, these are some of the uh, you can say uh, positions that are currently available so like i said you should check it almost every week uh, to see if there are some new openings or new positions so for example let's look at this drug di drug discovery data scientist so over here you will see the job requirements the essential qualifications and why it is always good to read essential qualifications and experience and job requirements because then you will really get to know what are these uh, skills that you need to really uh, you know uh, upgrade or master in order to be eligible for these jobs right so here you have to you know uh, it's more like a like i said like the job says it's data scientist so you have to curate and prepare computational chemistry data sets um you should have some you know uh background in drug discovery so let's look at some essential qualifications so it just says that you need to have a master's degree in either chemistry biology or biochemistry um you should have at least one year of organic chemistry coursework okay so that coursework basically means you should have some theoretical understanding or in your basic um like i think this is for more for biology and biochemistry students those who are applying that they should have some experience in organic chemistry as well i, d I don't really think it applies to chemistry students because generally they will definitely have organic chemistry um, for one year in their coursework and then you can see some other things as well you should have some experience with working on linux systems like uh, for example ubuntu is there right so you you should you should have some experience on working on linux systems um you should have some idea of scripting um like i said um i've always been talking about in my videos python is a is is very important for such um jobs right python is almost essential for such jobs and then you know some uh, basic skills basic um, tributes that they look for in a learner or in a candidate and then desirable qualifications you can see that you should it's it's best if you have some um, working knowledge of the softwares uh, that are available in schrodinger um, uh, you have uh, some understanding of working with some databases like mysql um, and like i said some python you should have understanding of python particularly pandas numpy uh you know sky kit learn matplotlib so these are nothing if you if you really understand python well um these are some of the packages that you will definitely be working with so um you know you can read more about it so the best part about here is that you should have experience with all of them but nowhere it says that you should be um having some kind of a uh, uh, you know industrial experience or some post msc experience so even if in your msc or after msc also if you have done some let's say workshop or some uh, uh courses uh for a month two month you know learning about drug discovery you can definitely apply for this um 
uh, let's look at some other uh, positions um so we have um you know like science and technology support scientist i think this also does not require any sort of um experience as a fresher also you can apply so here you can see who we, who we are looking for a masters or a phd degree in chemistry um then some experience with uh, molecular modeling techniques like quantum mechanical calculations molecular dynamic simulations um and these are something that you can really um you know find a lot of good videos on youtube and apart from that you can also find a lot of uh, courses that are being handed out by not just uh, platforms like udemy or or coursera but also some uh, institutes as well like for example i had seen recently iit kanpur had also conducted uh, one um, uh, you can say workshop on molecular dynamic simulations so these things you can definitely you can get some formal um, you know recognition or some formal accreditation from these uh, good universities also right uh, that will give you a a, a a decent idea about what exactly are these simulations and how do you run it and a brief working knowledge of molecular simulations for biological systems like molecular docking protein uh, small molecular interactions homology modeling so these are all some skills that you can definitely acquire through courses through workshops and through you know looking at uh, scientific publications and videos um and then you can see over here exposure to it or python is an added advantage it's not necessary but it's an added advantage so from here you have got an idea that yes python is something that, uh, that you really need to learn as a programming language and apart from that if you have uh, whenever you uh, get an opportunity to have an exposure to uh, various molecular modeling tools both for drug discovery and material chemistry you should definitely try and 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 get some experience over there that will really help you with you know such jobs so always uh, come come to this particular uh, <coughs> Um, like you always visit this career opportunities page every week and also you can uh, like visit linkedin also so on linkedin also shodinger has its own um uh, you can say um website not website exactly but it, it has its own page right on web page on linkedin so you can just uh, follow them as well over here because here also they frequently uh, post the opportunities so maybe you can directly apply through linkedin as well but in the end I, like i always say if you have someone who is working in shodinger it does not matter in which department they are working in but if they are working in shodinger you can always forward their cv to them there like if you forward a cv from one of their employees then it will uh, create an impact or at least your cv will be seen okay uh, sometimes what happens uh, for popular companies like shodinger they will get thousands of applications for one position and even though your cv Uh, you can say or your skills match the job requirement but there are so many candidates that are uh, applying that sometimes it gets overlooked but if you send it through an employee uh, there are more chances that it will get uh, like your cv will get recognized and it will give a and it will be given a fair evaluation and if your credential credentials in the cv match the job requirement there is a high probability that you will be called for the interview right so always try and look for people who are working in shodinger through whom you can you know um, from who through whom you can send out your cv to the uh, recruiting um, team of shodinger all right so anyway i hope you found this information helpful if you did please do not forget to give a big thumbs up to this video and um, if you like the content that i make uh, do not forget to subscribe to the channel uh, because the youtube metrics tell me that half of my viewers don't subscribe so it will mean a lot to me if you subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video really soon Hey guys so I am a verified educator on an academy and along with that I am also available on the unacademy plus platform where I am taking live classes along with other educators so in case you are interested in attending the live classes you can subscribe to the unacademy plus platform using my referral code that is SETHI SETHI and that will give you 10% discount all right and in case you are not interested in attending the live classes you can watch the free courses that are available on the unacademy for that all you need to do is go to the unacademy website or download the unacademy learning app and search my name over there that is ACT once you do that you will get the access to all the free courses that are available on the unacademy platform all right